You feel me? Hey, look, y'all don't leave until the bell ring, okay? No, 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 no. The bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you. Your what's good, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into it, make sure you follow my Instagram because if I'm not posting on here, I'm posting on there. Also, make sure to turn your post notifications when I upload. I need you to get the video quick, fast, and hurried because that's going to help out the algorithm. That's a big word for me. Hold on, chill out. But that's going to help out my channel do better. I also want to make sure that I say um, that I dropped some merch. If you didn't know, man, the link is in the description. Uh, get you a Doing Your Thug Thizzle shirt, man, because we out here this summer doing our Thug Thizzle. Just make sure you go cop some merch, bro. I want to speak on this, man, because I get a lot of DMs um, about how to have a conversation. And I feel like uh, I never really spoke on it, so that's what we're going to do today. You're not the only one, bro. I'll tell you this, man. Uh, you ask the right person because I used to be just like you, man. If you having trouble um, trying to have a conversation or what to say, you're talking to the right person because I used to be shy. You know what I'm saying? And I want to say, you know what? You know what? Hold on. Let's pause. I'm, I'm going to say this, right? I feel like it's a difference, right? Between being shy and only speaking when spoken to because I feel like I was the second one, right? I felt like, you know, even though everybody used to call me shy, I feel like I wasn't shy. Like, I'd be like, no, I'm not shy. But I only speak if you speak to me. Like, I'm not going to say nothing. Nigga, you ain't saying to me. Well, I got to, yeah. You're probably like, oh, okay, I don't speak unless spoken to, right? I'm pretty sure if a girl came up to you and she was like, hey, I really like your outfit, you would know what to say, right? But you wouldn't do that randomly to a girl. I understand. I would say this, bro. I didn't really get into, like... Uh, get into like having conversations with people, you know, being social until I got to college. When I got to college, I really like, I really like forced myself to be social, you know, because obviously, like, it's like that's what college is for. Like, you know, you want to be social, it's gonna, you're gonna be around people, you'll, you know, your same age, you want to make friends. So it's like, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to be social, bro. You don't want to be that dude just like, you ain't never go to no parties, you ain't, you ain't had no friends. You know what I'm saying? You was just really in the crib every Friday, every weekend. You don't want to be like that. And so when I got to college, I really like put myself in those positions where like, okay, I got to be social. Like, you know, like for instance, right? Let's just say like, um, like, uh, yeah, like let's just say I see a girl, right? In the hallway and I really want to talk to her. I, I would force myself upon that person, right? Or even, even things like this, right? Even, I, I tell people this, right? You can practice by doing this. You know how like your teacher would be like, all right, I'm gonna put you guys in in group, uh, in group conversations or group settings, whatever, so y'all can work on whatever, right? I make sure I'm the first person to speak up because you know when y'all get in that group of random people, you don't know these people, right? It's gonna be awkward. They not gonna say nothing. You not gonna say nothing, right? So I make it. I make sure, man. I make sure to initiate the conversation. That's a big word, but I make sure that if we get in this group, I'm gonna be the person like, okay, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, we got to, it says, they, she told her we got to read pages three through six. Who want to read uh, page three? Who going to read page four? I make sure I'm the leader in that group. Now, maybe that's because, maybe that's just the leader in me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know, to take initiative in the situation. But I make sure, bro, to always be the first person because it's like, it's going to be awkward regardless. Like, I think you got to understand that. Like, when you have a conversation with a stranger, it's going to be awkward. So, it could be less awkward if you know what to say. If you start the conversation in a group setting, it can be less awkward if one person just takes control of the whole situation and it can be less awkward for everybody. If you know what I'm saying, like if everybody know what they're doing. So I feel like maybe you should start doing that. Right. Uh, so when, when a teacher puts you in a group setting, maybe you should always be. I'm pretty sure you're not. I'm pretty sure you're not. So when you get in a group setting, just make sure you always the first person to say something like, OK, I'm going to work on this. What do you what do you guys want to work on? Uh, just always be the first person to do that. And that's really gonna help out your conversation. Uh, you know, I guess tactics. And then on top of that, let's just say, for instance, right when you see a girl, um, really it's like okay, you guys be like, I don't know what to say. Really, it's just like I always tell y'all like to talk about talk about what's in your environment, right? So if if I'm in college and I see a girl, you know, that I've never spoke to before, guess what I can ask her? Hey. What's your major? Uh, uh, how many classes are you taking? These are things that obviously you can have concept, you can have a conversation about because you're in that setting, right? I'm not gonna go up to a girl and be like, "Hey, what was the score last night? Uh, the Hawks versus the Bucks? You know the you know the score? She, she probably don't know. But if I ask her, "Hey, uh, 
what's your major? Oh, art. Oh, for sure. I was like, uh, oh, okay. Do you got Miss Da Da Da? Oh, you got Mr. Da Da Da? Okay, cool. Guess what? Those are conversations. Or you can ask her, hey, did you go to that party last night? Or, hey, do you play any sports? These are college conversations you can have with somebody. Uh, you know, saying like that it won't be, man, it's hot as hell. That it won't be awkward. And yeah, but obviously, if you ask her a question about something she don't know about or, you know, something that's not current, like, you know, like you could talk about current events, you could talk about future events, like, hey, uh, you like scary movies, you know, that, uh, have you seen that movie, The Ring, that's coming out? These are just future things you could talk about in your conversation. But really, getting there, it has to do with you. You have to put yourself in that position. Like, if I see a girl, yes, I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm, because I don't know how the conversation going to go. But it's like, I won't know unless I put myself in that position. I won't know unless I grab my balls, right? Be a man, man up, walk up to her. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yo, what's good? You feel me? Like, then I'll find out how the conversation went. And guess what? If it go bad, shit, it go bad. See, we, we both go remember it, but it's going to be funny. It's going to be funny because I feel like even if you go up to her and the conversation bad, right? Right? Let's just say next next year, next uh semester, she going to remember you, right? And I don't know. And then once y'all have a conversation, are you that dude that came up to me? Yeah, you right. Yeah, my bad. Uh, I see this, right? This is another way you can start a conversation with somebody, right? Let's just say like, uh, I always do this, right? Uh, I feel like it's never wrong to introduce yourself man so start doing it if you don't do that already start doing that because that can start a conversation like you know that's the that's the easiest way to ease up in a conversation like let's just say you see your friends at a table right you see you see your homies you see they with a group of girls right and let's just say you don't know them girls but you want to know them right you can always go up to the go up to the table say what's up to your dudes right and then introduce yourself to the girls like you can always introduce yourself to those girls like hey i'm maurice nice to meet you hey i'm maurice i'm maurice what's your name what's your name and that's how you interact with the girls that's how you get into the conversation and then you can i just bro it's just honestly bro it's just it just seemed like well for me it was it was like i'm just scared to talk to people because i don't know what i'm gonna say but it's like it's so easy to start a conversation, bro, because when you in that setting, you can be like, what's your major? You know, once you, hey, I'm Maurice, what's your name? Uh, hi, I'm Jasmine. Oh, oh, what's up, Jasmine? Uh, I was like, what's your major? Oh, graphic design? Okay. Okay, why you pick graphic design? Okay, for so, you go on, you, okay, you do art. You gonna have to show me some of that art. Nah, I, I don't even know you, you can draw. No, you can't. You can draw. Uh, for so, you gonna, you gonna have to teach me. You gonna have to teach me how to draw. It's so easy to start a conversation just based off of, like, just starting to introduce yourself swinging like that hurt getting long boy yeah i used to nah yeah i used to hate on my hurt now that been long boy yeah yeah how you like it yeah all right you like all right i feel like i feel like a drill head and i would say man you can take that with everywhere you go let's just say you go out to the club you go out to the bar right uh just take always take the initiative bro because the girl not gonna do it you feel me like she not you feel me? So you got to do it. It's up to you to take the initiative. I feel like that's really that's really what it is when it comes to conversation. It's just, it's just initiative. That's a big word. But you starting it. Um, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Who? You see that? Who? 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Who? Come on now, bro. Come on now. You think you think a girl not going to tell you her name? You think You think if you attractive, a girl not going to speak to you? See, that's what it is though, right? See, that's that confidence. It don't even matter if you attractive. Like, just, just knowing you attractive, right? Bada ba boom. I'm saying, like, think about I ain't gonna say I don't wanna put myself out there on the last, but like, bro, it's so easy to get a girl, bro. It's so easy because really it's just it's taking that first step. Excuse me, how you doing? What's your name? You feel me? Like smooth. I'm Maurice. How you doing? What's your name? Come on now, what you what you drinking on? Oh, you, what you drinking on? Oh, okay, I gotta, I gotta try. I ain't never, I ain't never had that before. I ain't never had that. You, you tipsy right now? You drunk? You tipsy? Oh, okay, for sure, for sure, what's up, what's up, for sure. I ain't never got drunk in my life. Nah, I ain't never got drunk. Come on now, bro. I tell this, I've, I've said this before, man, but uh, I used to talk to myself in the mirror to, I don't know, to, I guess to have better conversations. So it was like, I say that too. Let's just say you want to work on your conversation. Um, 
talk to yourself in the mirror. Um, the only, also, the only way you can get better at conversating is to conversate with people. So you really, like I said, just you just got initiated. And once you start being comfortable with talking to people and talking to people, you're able to start a conversation and you're not going to be scared. You, you know, you're going to know what to say. And yeah, bro, that's really what it is. Just being comfortable with having conversations with strangers. Like it's, it's so it's really like like once I got past that, that fear of like not knowing what to say or like fumbling my words, stuff like that, bro. Like it, it really just it got so simple for me, bro. It got so simple. Like I'm so like I'm so confident, bro. Like. Not even confident. I just, just like I know I'm not gonna mess up. I know that I could, <sighs> bro. Y'all just don't know. Like, let me tell you. Let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this story and then we are gonna get up out of here. Look, I'm, I'm saying it like this: a classroom. You feel me? Hey, look, y'all don't leave until the bell ring, okay? No, 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 no. The bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you. I'm gonna just say this. Right? I'm gonna tell y'all this story. This happened a couple weeks ago, right? So I went out, right? And I don't know if y'all know, but girls come up to me. Hey, I know. Hold up, Maurice. You not you not even that cute. Hold up, bro. Hey, girls come up to me, right? And I just think it's because, honestly, bro. The only re only reason I think girls come up to me is because I'm so um, I'm so tuned in with myself, like in a sense of like uh, like identity, in a sense of like uh, what is that word? Uh, I forgot the word, but anyway, that's not the point. So. I'm so smooth with it, right? I'm so smooth with it. I honestly, I honestly, bro, like if I was single, bro, I would be a pimp. I would, like, I'm so smooth with, I'm so like here, like with my own game. It's like, I don't even, I don't, I don't, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, you don't need to have game. You don't need to have game, bro. Like I keep, I, no, you don't. You need to have game if, the only, the only time you need to have game is if maybe you're not confident in your own self, right? That's when you need to have game. Other than that, you don't need to have game, right? Just, just honestly, just being nice can get you. Being nice to somebody can get you in the door. Honestly, just being nice. So anyway, right? So, boom, the girl, the girl on me, right? So, and the only reason I found out was because of my homeboy. Kind of found out she didn't. She didn't want my homeboy, right? She wanted me. So she like, you know, what's up with your homeboy? So I'm like, I'm peeping. She in the car, you know what I'm saying? This girl, like, she kept like, she kept driving and stopping, driving and stopping on some nigga type ish. So I'm like. She must, okay, she must, she must be on it. So, woo, woo. So I'm like, I go up to the car. I'm like, what's up? You know, she like, you know, she like, what's up? Woo, woo. I already know, I already know what she want, bro. I already know what she want. So basically, I'm just having a conversation because I'm having a conversation because it's her and a friend in the car, right? And I'm like, I'm like, hold up, y'all going home already? I'm like, dang, it's only, it's only 11 o'clock. Like, where y'all going? And she like, you know, her home girl, her home girl messed up. Like, she drunk. And so I'm like, nah, y'all can't go home. Like we just got her, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. And so basically, we just kept going back. From I'm like, look, I'm like, look, we gonna end it like this. Give me your number. You feel me? Take my number, and then we gonna we gonna leave it like that. Smooth, smooth. I put my number in her phone. Woo woo. She was like, you gonna text me? I'm like, I'm gonna text you. That's how you know somebody feeling you, bro. That's how you know. If somebody like, if somebody asks, are oh, you going to text me? I'm going to text you. You got it. If if that interaction with her would have got filmed, I promise y'all would have thought I was the most smoothest nigga on the planet, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro, like, it it took no effort. Like, I think it's like just once you don't care, bro, once you don't give a F about nothing, it's like you can really just get whatever you want. Like, hey. Hey, I don't know. I think it, I might, it might have something to do with self love, man. That self love, that self love do something to you, bro. When you just love yourself and you don't care about nothing, you free. That's like I think people see that, bro. People see that because it's like you don't look for no validation. Like you don't look like it's just like all these dudes, bro. That be that be wearing the Gucci and Louis and all this other stuff and be showing they belts and walking around with racks. It's like I don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? A real woman gonna see that, bro, and that's why I don't have to. Ch that's why I don't have to chase. I don't have to chase. They come to me, bro. They come to me. They do. I don't have to chase nobody. Girls come to me. I don't know why. Honestly, think about that, bro. And girls don't usually do that. They don't. But when they see me, when they see Maurice, they be on that shit. I don't know why. All right, that's enough of me uh spazzing and uh giving y'all some game. How to have a conversation? I just think, bro, stop being scary. 
um, and just start talking, right? Just start talking. Obviously, don't talk about nothing weird. You know, talk about something that's current. Talking about you know or things that's going to happen in the future. Really, a conversation. I mean, I don't have conversations with people where it's like we we get we get into not even freaky, but like I don't know. It's, it's like I don't know, man. I think when you talk about when you talk about things involving around doing your thug this you know what I'm saying, tasty blacks, it's like it make the it make the conversation more fun. Like when I'm like when it's a group of people and y'all like, all right, what's the freakiest thing y'all done? I don't know, man. Th that conversation just the conversation can go on for so long, bro. Anyway, man, that's, that's enough of me talking. All right, y'all.